this is ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at a stock here that is giving us an opportunity to learn about resistance. And of course, we use the charts to study certain parameters and certain setups that show up over time. In fact, they show up more often than we can actually believe it ourselves. In other words, what I'm saying is the reason why we study charts is to be able to identify some things that keep happening over and over again. All right. So this is an extreme example. I understand that. We see a stock that is down 12%. So naturally, the question is, were there any warning signs? Right? What was the chart saying or what were the chart saying prior to this drop? All right. Let's take a look at some things here that were in play. Now, if you take this daily closing high and this daily closing high oh I should have mentioned this is a one year daily chart so what we're gonna do is connect this close on a daily closing basis and this here we're gonna draw a trend line there should be something like that notice that about four trading sessions ago we closed exactly on that line and subsequently we were not able to move above it so for two days we tried to move above that line we were rejected so that was probably we can say one potential warning sign now there's another way to look at this which is by way of uniformity and there should be a link in the description of the video explaining this method which is my own derived method we can see we can see here a break of that high take that information draw our uniformity resistance line the idea is anytime you have uniform activity on the line that tends to be a reversal which is true in this case here we get to that line and we stall for the daily high there we come back, move above the line, and back below it for the highs there. So there is another level of resistance prior to the drop, which we are seeing today. There's one other line we can draw connecting the prior lows, connecting the lows there and this low. We're going to extend it out. So connecting the lows here, this lows there, and that low. And we can see a break below the line for those levels here, break below the line for this movement. Resistance here for the, that price resistance, resistance here, uniform activity above the line back below it for that top. And again, uniform activity above the line back below it for this top. So the daily chart is saying somewhere around here there was a multitude of resistance based on price and RSI levels. Now that's the one year daily. What is curious if you go to the weekly and here I have a three year weekly chart. I'll show you the resistance levels. When the stock was trading here around the highs for the week which was the close of last week Let's call it at about 93, 92. All right, so the first layer of resistance is the RSI top side, as we can see here. The, seven, the second layer of resistance is this break based on my uniformity method. Again, resistance there or potential for resistance. And there's one more, which is a backtest line going back to 2016. February we we'll just extend it out like something like that and it gives us resistance here on the weekly and this most recent resistance sometimes what happens in the market can be explained by the charts Eric Mwadith, mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s